Today, we are going to look how we can remove a double chin in FDT photo. Usually, with a little bit of creative photography, you minimize the double chin problem. But the world is a mess and our job is to fix that. Alright, let's get started. Here is our image. First thing I will do is to duplicate it two times. Disable the bottom two layers and add a mask on the top duplicate. Select the brush tool and make sure you have selected black as your color. Now mask out the chin area, or in other words, the areas you want to replace. Don't worry too much about the mask. Just do a quick mask, and I think this looks about right for now. To get rid of the double chin, we're going to apply a live mesh warp on the layer below. I can now add points to the canvas to create a mesh. In this case, it is going to be quite simple. Just add a mesh point below the second chin. After adding the point, move it up until the double chin is gone. And that's it! We successfully removed a double chin in Affinity Photo. You can do some fine tuning in the mesh warp to make sure the proportions are still ok, so that it looks convincing. In this example, my mask of the top layer kind of turned out pretty well, but probably you can fine-tune it and make it blend in better with the layer below. As a final tip, you can also use a curse adjustment to darken below the chin. Add a curse adjustment to darken the photo and mask it so that it only applies to the chin area. Pretty awesome! Now most tutorials will show you an easy case, just as I did right now. But let's have a look at this example. We don't have much skin to work here. The principle is the same, but we probably will need a couple of additional steps to make it work. I'm not going to spend too much time explaining the exact steps here, but share more the concepts to make it work. We start by duplicating twice and masking out the top layer as before. When I now apply the mesh warp on the second duplicate, notice how this is not really working for us, as part of the turtleneck also gets warped. A quick fix for that would be to mask out the areas we don't want to be warped and create a new pixel layer for this mask area. We can now apply without worrying about the white turtleneck. Because we will have empty areas now, I need to try to get back as much of the skin area in the empty space. I can also fine-tune the mask of the top layer to include a bit more of the turtleneck. And now, we have to get creative to fill in the blanks. Ideally, you could utilize another similar photo where you have more neck skin, but in this case I'll just use a combination of clone and the paint tool to fill the area. Let's also quickly make sure that the proportions are still ok. As I painted the gaps, I need to add some skin texture for which I will use an area from the face. To do that, I'll duplicate the image, apply a mask area of the skin with a high pass filter in linear light blend mode, adjust the whole thing so that it blends naturally. I think the shadow might be too strong, but we can fix that with a mask curse adjustment. Here is the before, and here is the after. We got rid of the double chin. It probably needs some additional fine-tuning, especially on the lower parts of the chin which seems to be too bright. But you get the idea. Hope you learned something new today and thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more quick and useful tutorials. See you in the next video.